Okay, here we are again with a 1963 Johnson 40 horse electromatic shift uh, rebuild on the uh, on the bearings for the uh, the lower unit. Um, right now, I'm just kind of cleaning up the uh, the, the uh, pinion uh, gear. As the uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but the uh, the race where the uh, bearings contact the uh, the pinion, there's two places: the main bearing down here, and the upper one here. And uh, they do have some signs of, of galling. So I'm just sanding them down a little bit, uh, cleaning them up, trying to uh, erase some of the marring that's here. I'm hoping that that will do the trick. I'm going to try to clean this up, put the new bearings on, and see how it goes. Uh, I think it'll clean up okay. It's, it's, it, it can barely feel the markings in there. So anyway, I'm going to sand these down a bit and uh, see what I can do just to, to clean them up and uh, polish them up a little bit. Just trying to avoid taking the, the uh, lower gear housing apart. That's not bad. It's pretty smooth now. Get down here in the lower unit, the lower gunny. Gotta make it a little trickier. Oh, no. yeah. It goes lower, that's for sure. But you get the idea. I'm not going to show all of this, but at least you get the idea of what I'm doing here and why. Uh, so I'm going to put it on, put you on hold, and edit until I, uh, I'm done with this portion. I've sanded this down as best I can. There's still some some signs of staining, and there's actually you can feel with your fingernails some areas that are kind of kind of corroded. But I'm going to go with this and see what happens. I, I think that'll be okay. I think it'll be fine. I'm also going to sand this down a little bit. These these are known for corroding, especially if you take these this engine out of the salt water. Now this this engine probably has never seen any salt water. I'm I'm guessing, but there's no no real corrosion on it other than the the painting, the paint is a little stained, but I'm going to sand these and maybe put a little bit of uh, okay. so anti-seize grease and on the threads. This is typically what you use for uh, uh, spark plug installations, but I think it'll work fine in this application. This will work, you know, for underwater applications, but it's better than nothing. And I could put some marine grease on it, but I think this might be even better. So, as long as it don't wash away, I know in ten more years we have to take it apart. Now, I need to install this bearing. I'm going to take some acetone and clean that though before I do. And you insert it this way, with the numbers facing up, kind of the flat side. That bearing has got a rounded edge. You can see the rounded, rounded tapered edge that goes down and the uh, letters are on top. So that's going to go this way, again, letters facing up. And then there's the letter bearing that sits on top, goes inside this race. And again, the same principle. This bearing, you can see, is tapered on top a bit and it's got the letters on the uh, on the other side. So it's going to go in this way. Um, also got a little plastic thing to hold all the bearings, the needle bearings in there. So that comes out afterwards. It's got a bunch of sticky grease on it, 50 year old grease because it's new old stock. So, I still got to clean this a little bit more, and uh, I think I'll be ready to insert these. Well, I hope everybody had a good Merry Christmas. New Year's is approaching now, and uh, I'll be going back to work on the second. So, I'm just trying to get a few things caught up here before I go back to work. Black silicone, this is supposed to be water resistant and used for differential covers on the vehicle, so it should work in this application. Just trying to seal out water and penetrate inside the cement. It's a light layer of RTD. So I have to use a socket on this. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that might do it. Uh, oops. Okay. Uh, yes.
feels like I'm in. I didn't see it. That's right there. I did find it in my stock. I found it in my stock. The uh, thrust washers. The thrust washer and uh, thrust bearing. The new ones that I had. I guess I purchased these or this came out of this other motor that I have and I purchased new ones for that one. But th these are in good shape. So I'm going to put these back in. And there should be no issue. Okay. And I'm just going to repurpose these because they're about 35 bucks on the uh, online, and I'd uh, really prefer just to reuse them if, if they're good. So, and they do look good to me. Just gotta make sure I'm putting these in properly. size is bigger than the other. So, which one goes where? Hmm, interesting. I believe the smaller hander washer goes in first. Then the bearing. Yeah, we can measure this direction it goes in. And then, the washer. If I remember correctly. And then, the bearing. Clean this grease off of this bearing or outside. Oh, that's really sticky grease. I'm getting a loop, little loopy off these acetone fumes. Yeah, it's like having a drink. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Okay, those are pretty clean. Let's see this RTE on it now. And then. Yeah, good. Good stuff. I should be wearing gloves, but I can't stand wearing gloves. I, I don't know. I just don't like wearing gloves. I mean, just wash my hands up good when I'm done, but man. Okay, I'm going to be a little larger than that. We'll close this. Whew. <laughs> Be able to punch this in until it sees. Again, the letters are up on this. I'm not sure that's seen all the way or not. I think that's seen it. I made a lot of noise. That looks about right. Looks right. That's about how deep it was when I put it in, so, or took it out, I mean, so if I remember right. Now, now this was the old O-ring, and this should be the new one. So, pretty sure that's the right one. It does look a little bit bigger than this one when you stretch it out, but I'm going with it. I'll do a try. Looks pretty good. Looks like I have it too, so.
Okay, I got the uh, blade connectors back in place. I got some, a uh, little bit of grease around there. The bearings are in. I'm gonna drop it down, seal it up, put the nuts back on, and it should be ready to test for the uh, pressure testing. So, let's see what happens. Technically, you're not supposed to reuse these nuts, just for the record, but I'm going to because I didn't purchase any new ones. Uh, they are prevailing lock nuts with little nylon inserts that, uh, that, uh, uh, that actually should be able to be backed off, but they, they recommend in the manual to, uh, to replace these every time, but uh, I'm not going to do uh, repressure to test this like I did before. Now, drive shaft should help seal as well, so that's going to be good. Wait, uh, I'm going to get out my uh, or, yeah, midi vac is what it's called. M I T Y V A C. Uh, drop this just at, a, at the north at your usual uh, pet boys or wherever. Um, you can buy these in any automotive store. These also as well. You can buy a, the tubing and the uh, fittings on that. That's tight. Let's see what we get. Under seven pounds. Uh, about 10, a little over 10 for 10 seconds. This still passes the test. If I spin this, it may tend to drop a little more, but. This is where the seal is that was bad. So it's gone to nine pounds now, but still, it's been there for at least 10 seconds. Seconds, So it passes the test. If I turn the prop shaft, still nothing happens. So I say that passes. Now I can reassemble it back onto the motor. Uh, but first, I'm probably I'm going to put some gear oil in it. Uh, actually, I can leave that on there. I'm just going to pump some gear oil through this. And you have to use Johnson Ebenrude Premium Oil. This is the, it used to be called Class C, but now it's Premium Blend. It's the Premium Blend uh, uh, for these electromagnetic chips. If you use a different gear oil, like standard 90 or 100 to 120 or 140 weight, it, it will damage these uh, these uh, these gearboxes. This is a much thinner oil, and. Uh, you have to use the proper oil for those solenoids in there to, to function properly. If you, if, like I say, if you put the wrong oil in this, you will destroy it. It's... Holy moly. There we go. I guess I'm just getting old. Please check out my other videos on this if you're if you're just coming on board and you're just looking at this. You can see the the time where I, I brought it in. I purchased the engine and I uh, I just got it running. Um, clean the engine up and there's, there's a whole segment of, of different videos on this particular motor. And uh, you might uh, you might like that. So feel free you know to subscribe, uh, hit like if you like the videos, um, comment uh, on anything that you might see is kind of peculiar or something that you don't like. Even if you do like, oh there we go. Um,